hello guys welcome again to my channel thank you for clicking this channel thank you for watching this video and today is a cooking video and i'm going to cook spaghetti and meatballs guys so here i start with my pan i put water in my pan i'm cooking i'm first cooking spaghetti and then later the meatballs guys so this is the spaghetti i'm using and i'm going to cut it in half and boil it here so since i have a family i thought let me cook two packets of spaghetti so that everyone can eat and be full guys so Yes, I'm cooking two packets. So after I cook my spaghetti, I add salt. And then after it simmers, I'm going just to rinse the starch out. The excess starch from the spaghetti, I'm going to rinse it like this, guys. And this is how I rinse my spaghetti. I pour them in a place like this one, which drains the water. And I just pour cold water in it. And since I don't have tap water to them, I'm just using my jug to pour the water, the clean water, and rinse my spaghetti. After rinsing my spaghetti like this, I make sure all the starch, excess starch is drained away and then I take my cooking pot, the same I'm cooking spaghetti with and I take it to medium heat, very low heat and I put my pan and add some cooking oil, a little of cooking oil and a little also of salt a little pinch of salt and i add my spaghetti there my drained spaghetti there so that they can just absorb the cooking oil and a little bit salt to be tasty and i put the heat off so guys these are my spices here and my meat mince meat this is black pepper, this is tandoori spice, and this is oregano, this is garlic, and this is onion, guys. And yes, I have my mince meat here, and this is one egg, I'm going to use one egg, and I'm using home baking all-purpose flour, a handful of it. So, yeah, I'm going just to add everything there and mix everything in there. So, I've added the spices. I have added the egg and now I'm adding the egg of a flour. So I'm mixing everything and then I make my meatballs. I'm adding the salt too and I mix everything in and start making my meatballs. So I make my meatballs round and you can make any any size you want but mine I'm making this size and I'm making them round guys round so um, I can start deep frying them I like to deep fry them in a little bit oil much little bit oil and then I make the sauce later so there they are and then I'm going just to fry them here first there is my pan, I'm putting my cooking oil in it and then I fry them fast guys, then I'll make the sauce later. So I'm frying my meatballs fast, mixed with all my spices and everything in it, one egg and all purpose flour and then I make them round like this. Now I'm frying them, it smells good, it smells some amazing so there are our meatballs guys and yes they're looking good they're delicious they're tasty guys look at them how good they are 
Now it's time to make the sauce of these meatballs. Let's go make sauce. I put my pan here and the same cooking oil I fried the meatballs with is the same oil which I'm going to use because it has the flavors of the spices and the meatballs guys so I'm using the same oil I fried my meatballs with just a little bit and then I'm putting my onions in there and then later adding my garlic and then I stir a little bit and let them fry and then I'm adding my tomatoes there then I stare and then I close the lid and wait for the tomatoes to get all the juicy in, out and into the heat. Then later guys I'm just going to take uh, this, this bay leaf and I'm going to take two dried bay leaf and put them there inside. Such aroma goes well with spaghetti guys. Wow, smells good. This, these are bay leaves, dried bay leaves. Then I'm just going to add a teaspoon of cinnamon, guys. Wow, this sauce is going to taste amazing and it will go so well with spaghetti, guys. So, yes, I'm stirring and, and then I just want to add my salt. Just a little bit salt. Remember, guys, we have added the meatballs with salt too, and the spaghetti has salt too. So, and after that, guys, I'm just going to add this potato, this uh, sorry, this tom tomato paste, and there, yeah, the, the sachet of tomato paste I'm adding. Then you add a little of water and stir a little bit to make it saucy. Yes, to be half sauce, and then put our potatoes there and let them simmer a little bit so they can cook because we want to have a thick sauce then after adding the potatoes and they are cooked I'm going to add this green pepper wow smells good at the end smells so good with this green pepper guys will look good the presentation of our sauce will be nice look at it and smells awesome smells so delicious so i'm just going to cover this and then i'm going to add my meatballs i've already added them uh, there are our meatballs inside the sauce you see them guys there they are i've added them now now i'm going to cover the lid and let it seem a little bit and then after that, just to garnish my sauce, I'm going to show you how. So, I'm going just to add these cubes, but this part is not necessary. If you don't want the cubes, don't add them. I'm just going to add these non cubes, or you can add roto cubes, and let it simmer a little bit. And then we're going to garnish our stew, guys. Yes, it's ready. This food is easy to make, a nice meal to make for family, for visitors, for occasions, for functions, and tastes amazing. There is our thick sauce, our meatball thick sauce and spaghetti. So I'm just going to garnish my sauce. And I'm going to go with this coriander guys I'm adding this coriander I've turned off the heat already just garnishing my sauce already and yeah it's ready guys thank you for watching this video and please do share and like this video if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe down below and thank you so much for watching guys give it a like thank you guys Here is our finished meal look at it very delicious presentable it looks nice and yummy guys thank you for watching